Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Pelicosaurs Pelicosaurs are the earliest and most primitive of a group of animals known as Synapsida. These creatures can be characterized by having a single dermal opening in their skull. This is what separates the Synapsida from modern reptiles that have two dermal openings. But there are a lot of other differences as well. For example, the Pelicosaurs were endothermic animals and possibly the first ones that ever lived. That means they maintained a consistent internal body temperature just like mammals do. Researchers actually believe that the Pelicosaurs were a kind of missing connection between reptiles and mammals. They looked like massive, terrifying lizards, almost like smaller versions of the Spinosaurs. One of these creatures was the Dimetrodon, a non-mammalian synapsid that lived between 295 and 272 million years ago during the early Permian period. It had a gigantic spine sail on its back formed by long, jagged spine bones extending from its vertebrae. It hobbled around on four legs, had a curved skull and enormous teeth of all different sizes. Researchers believe it lived primarily in the southwestern United States, since most of its fossils have been found in Texas and Oklahoma. However, a few fossils have been found in Germany as well. And even though the Dimetrodon looks like a dinosaur, it went extinct at least 40 million years before the first dinosaur appeared. And even though the creature looks just like a giant lizard's, it's more closely related to mammals than to modern reptiles. It was also an apex predator that could grow to a whopping 15 feet long and weigh over 500 pounds. Number 9. Jawless Fish the Arendaspis prionotolipus lived about 480 million years ago. It was one of the first jawless fish in the world, alive during the Ordovician period. Its remains were discovered embedded in sandstone near Alice Springs, Australia back in 1959. The fish was pretty small considering some of the other giants of the day. It grew only to be about 6 inches with a narrow body streamlined for easy swimming. This fish had no fins, a flattened tail that looked like a spearhead that it used for propulsion, and it honestly looked more like a tadpole than a fish, and yet it had a weird evolutionary trait. Rows of armored plates protecting most of its body, with openings for its eyes, nostrils, and gills that were protected. The Arendaspis was one of the very first primitive jawless fish to ever live, making them some of the oldest kinds of creatures on the planet. Jawless fish are still around today, like the hagfish and the lamprey. But instead of latching onto a living host and sucking the blood out of them, these prehistoric fish were gentle filter feeders. They allowed tiny organisms to sift through their mouths and down into their bellies. Number 8. Mini Gator A miniature alligator from 375 million years ago has been described as a missing link in evolution. This creature was one of the very first to flounder onto land with its four limbs. Just think of how monumental of an achievement this was. Millions of years before dinosaurs ever lived, an animal turned its fins into limbs, ventured out onto a hard surface, and became one of the very first alligators. That's how long alligators and crocodiles have been around so long that they once never even had legs. The miniature alligator has been nicknamed Kikiktania wake, and it had features that were far more useful for swimming. Even though it crept out onto land, it changed its mind and went back into the water. Discovered by a team of scientists in the Canadian Arctic, they were dubbed fishapods. It resembled a fish and a tetrapod, a hybrid between land and water. The creature had arms that were smooth and curved and great for swimming, yet also somewhat adept at walking. Unlike the alligators that would come later, this beast was extremely small. The lead researcher involved in the project, Neil Shubin from the University of Chicago, said he and his team first thought it was a juvenile, but in fact it was just a really small species. It had grown from a tiny 30-inch long fish to a medium fish with legs and would later evolve and branch into creatures that would be as big as 9 feet. Number 7. A History of Sharks Over 100 million years before the miniature alligator flopped onto land, there were already sharks living in the seas. According to the Natural History Museum, 
Sharks appear in the fossil record even before any evidence of trees existed. That's pretty crazy when you think about it, with the earliest fossil evidence of shark ancestors being almost 450 million years old, from the late Ordovician period. But sharks didn't look the same as they do now. According to Emma Bernard from the museum, scales have been found, but no teeth. This suggests the earliest sharks may have been toothless, leading scientists to wonder how they even ate. It's important to understand that sharks belong to a group of animals all known as cartilaginous fishes. Any fish that has a skeleton made up of cartilage instead of bone fits into this category. That's everything from great white sharks to ratfish, rays, and skates. Researchers believe that by 420 million years ago, sharks had already started splitting into these different species. And by 410 million years ago, they had grown teeth. The earliest tooth from a shark was found from the early Devonian period, and it belonged to a fish called Doliodus problematicus. It wasn't much of a predator, and it's believed it evolved from a vague group of spiny sharks. Finally, the first recognizable shark appeared later in the same period, 380 million years ago. It looked more like an eel than a shark, but it was the first true shark that we'd be able to recognize today. Its name was Antarctilamna. And now for number six, but first I want to give a big shout out to Greg and Junaid Munif. Thanks so much for watching this channel. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join the Origins Explained family. We'd love to have you. Number six, Paraeosaur. The Scutosaurus was a type of Paraeosaur, or a para-reptile from before the age of the dinosaurs. Its name translates to shield lizard, which is fitting considering its body was covered in massive plates of armor. It was an absolutely enormous reptile, with its limbs positioned underneath its body to support its immense weight. This is quite different from other reptiles that have their legs sticking out away from their bodies like crocodiles. But there was no other way for this Scutosaurus to hold itself up. Researchers believe it weighed roughly one ton despite being only 10 feet long. That's almost unheard of in the world of reptiles. It was quite literally a slow moving tank, so heavy it doesn't even make sense that it evolved at all. But sadly, the Scutosaurus proved too big of a behemoth to live in this world. It existed from between 264 and 252 million years ago, and then vanished from its habitat in European Russia, near to the Ural Mountains. Only about six nearly complete skeletons have been found, all of them in Russia. Unlike a lot of animals from before the dinosaurs, this one didn't seem to have a global range and was restricted to a small habitat. Number 5. Three-Eyed Bugs an interesting new discovery was made thanks to specimens from the Burgess Shale, a region in Canada filled with fossilized creatures from way before the age of the dinosaurs. Researchers have connected the evolution of insect brains to a strange animal that had three eyes and that is distantly related to spiders. Researchers from the University of Toronto looked at over 268 specimens collected throughout the 1980s and 1990s. They found that dozens of the fossils contained the exact same brain and nervous system and were able to identify them as something called the Stanley Carus. This organism lived half a billion years ago and was an extinct arthropod that belonged on the Radiodonta family tree. According to the lead author of the study, Joe Moisiuk, he and his team were able to see how the brain segments of these prehistoric arthropods worked including the processing centers connected to the eyes of the animals for visual information. The Stanley Carus had only two brain segments, whereas modern spiders and insects mostly have three brain segments. This was one of the first steps in the evolutionary chain of arthropods, and it was freaky looking. It had two eyes on long and bendy stalks, with one unexpected gigantic eye right on the front of its head. Number 4. Ordinary Birds one of the strangest groups of animals that existed before the dinosaurs was birds. Completely ordinary birds. According to National Geographic, modern birds evolved at least 100 million years ago, long before dinosaurs ever went extinct. This is a crazy new discovery, and one that's quite controversial. The issue is that according to the fossil records, modern birds originated 60 million years ago, 
after the dinosaurs had already died. But when scientists did molecular studies of bird fossils, they discovered genetic divergences that occurred during the Cretaceous period. This suggests that the ancestors to modern birds existed at least 40 million years prior to the extinction event. And seeing as how this was totally missed by scientists, the truth is that birds could have lived even further back. The new information was all possible thanks to graduate student Joseph Brown at the University of Michigan. He looked at mutation rates across lineages of birds, dissecting biological data to look at the accretion of mutations. By doing this, he was able to determine that birds from 60 million years ago were the product of evolutionary mutations from older lineages of bird families. Unfortunately, this science still isn't confirmed. The accepted hypothesis is still that birds evolved from theropod dinosaurs in the Jurassic, not before them. It's kind of like the question, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Except now it's dinosaurs and birds. Number 3. Protorosaurus Protorosaurus lived a very long time ago in Germany and Great Britain, and it's believed it was one of the first ancestors to modern lizards. It's definitely the oldest known member of the Archosauromorpha group, the family of animals that would eventually grow to become archosaurs, crocodilians, and dinosaurs. But before all of those creatures could live, the Protorosaurus had to evolve. It showed up around the end of the Carboniferous period around 300 million years ago as one of the biggest and meanest monsters on the planet. It grew to an awesome length of 6.6 .6 feet. It was slender and agile and kind of looked like a monitor lizard. To make this ancient creature even more interesting, it was one of the first reptilian fossils ever described by a scientist. Christian Maximilian Spiner discovered a fossilized specimen in Germany back in 1710. He thought the animal was a crocodile and claimed it to be related to the Nile crocodile. It wasn't until over 100 years later in 1830 that a different scientist identified the fossil as belonging to an extinct reptile. That was when the Protorosaurus got its name. For a long time, scientists believed the creature was predatory in its lifestyle, feasting on other animals. But when they found an extremely preserved specimen and looked at its stomach contents, they were surprised to discover conifer seeds. Now we don't know for sure if it really was a carnivore, an herbivore, or an omnivore. Number 2. Confusing Aquatic Creature Scientists have finally identified what they believe could be the oldest known relative of every vertebrate on Earth. That is a biblical-level discovery, like finding the very first egg that hatched the very first chicken. The strange creature was splashing around in our world's oceans over half a billion years ago. It's called a Unanozoan, and it dates back to the early Cambrian some 518 million years ago. Paleontologists have found that its fossilized remains show evidence of it being the earliest stem vertebrae, a kind of sister group to modern vertebrates. It's believed that the modern vertebrates descended from these other ones, and that they all came from one fishy-like ancestor in the Cambrian. According to the team from the Chinese Academy of Sciences, it was the Unanozoan which directly led to the evolution of jaws and brain cases. That means that from this single fish sprouted creatures that would grow to have two jaws for eating and a brain case for holding their biological thinking machine. The specifics are a little complicated. The scientists examined multiple specimens and found that their branchial arches were made of cellular cartilage complete with an extracellular matrix. This is a feature specific to vertebrates, and it's never been found in anything older than the Unanozoan. Sadly, this is still unconfirmed and just a theory, but it does appear to be the original ancestor of vertebrates. Number 1. Synonathus the Synonathus was a positively gigantic predator that lived 251 million years ago in the early Triassic. In case you were wondering, that was in fact a time before the dinosaurs. The Triassic period came after the Great Permian extinction that wiped out nearly all life on the planet. Life had to recover very slowly, and dinosaurs weren't the first things to evolve. Animals like the Synonathus evolved first at a time when the entire planet didn't have a single tree. There were no flowering plants, only things like ferns and mosses. Small dinosauriforms didn't begin to appear until near the end of the period, 
long after gigantic marine reptiles like ichthyosaurs. The Sinonathus could almost be compared to a prehistoric wolf. It was just shy of four feet long, with thick dark stripes like a tiger and teeth that could penetrate an animal's skull, just like that of a mountain lion. It lived across the southern hemisphere, with its fossils only having been found in southern Africa and South America, as well as a few in Antarctica. It had an absolutely gigantic skull, with wide jaws and powerful teeth for crushing bone. The tail was short and its limbs were tucked in close to its body. Even though it was big and fierce, it hobbled along strangely, almost like a Komodo dragon. Thanks for watching! Which of these prehistoric beasts did you find the most interesting? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon! Bye!